everybody, I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Along with Piggy. Now I've been over here just admiring the view, just watching fall, fall, <laughs> or autumn fall, or fall arrive. I don't know how you would say that, but yeah, just, oh my gosh, just checking out this new texture pack and how it makes everything look. It's like I'm playing in a whole new world. It is so cool. But we ended last episode finally finishing the XP farm, and I had gotten a bunch of XP from smacking zombies in the face, teaching them manners, and putting them in their place. Whoa, I made a rhyme and didn't even mean to. But I kept noticing I was running around without a sword. Now, here we go. This is my old spider fire sword. I, you know, I was making the best of a bad situation. I had a, a sword with fire aspect and bane of arthropods. And I, I almost went and made myself a sword so that I could repair that. I'm like, well, wait a minute, Piggy. Maybe you should try and enchant another sword. Because we have got a great enchanting system built. We have got an XP farm built. The only thing you'll be down is a few diamonds, and we could go down in the mines and find more. So I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll leave the sword. If anything, we can leave old junk armor for armor stands maybe in the future. Or, you know, for nostalgia, just for nostalgic sake. And I'm going to need three lapis. Why did I grab two? That's weird. So I figured I'd wait till I was filming, go ahead and make myself a sword, yeah, <laughs> I need to explain that. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Is it stats, achievements? Check this out. Okay, this is really, really strange, right? Notice how there are a lot of achievements I haven't gotten. Like, where is it? Find diamonds. Well, obviously I have diamonds. Obviously I've made, I've made furnaces. We've seen lots of furnaces. Well, something strange happened. I was trying to change my Minecraft around so that I could get Optifine to work and a bunch of stuff, and I had a really, really bad crash in the game. And for some strange reason, when the game crashed, I lost all my achievements. It was really, really weird. I don't quite understand it. I've never heard of that happening before. But let's go ahead and see what we're going to get. Wait. Sharpness 4. Uh, now here's the thing. Armor and weapons, I am not very good at when it comes to enchanting. But Sharpness 4 sounds good. What I do know I would like to have is looting. Because if you can get looting, that helps you get like extra stuff when you, when you kill. So let's see. Drum roll, please. Sharpness 4, knockback 2. Okay, I'm going to assume that's not bad. You leave me messages in the comments telling me, Piggy, that was a bum deal, or Piggy, that's not bad. Now, in 1.9, I know that when you whoop, when you swipe your sword, you're going to have what's called a cooldown time, which means you're going to see this little progress bar show up on screen for a second. And if you wait for that bar to go away, your next swipe, well, stay back, doggy. Your next swipe, it'll be a full hit. But if you spam click like this, it'll be like tap, 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 tap. It, it will take forever to kill something. So knockback is actually going to be important because if you've got creatures coming after you and boop, you knock them back, it buys you some time for the cooldown so that you can get your next good strike. But for today's episode, what I'm thinking about doing, we've, we've got a couple of random things that need to be done. And I have a main project that I want to do. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll save that. We'll come back this way and I'll explain. So over here... And I do have a pickaxe. Okay, good. Because usually I do this. I run off and hit record. And in the middle of recording, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm missing tools. I'm missing blocks. I'm missing all kinds of stuff. But you may notice I've only got 20, 24 carrots with me. Which would be great if it was a diamond. But it's not. It's food. So we'll just have to go with it. <laughs> but I'm running over here to the underground farm the food farm that we've got going on, because I wanted to show you something that I found. Now, it, it's been a little while since we've been over here, and I don't, I can't remember if I showed it on camera or not, but I had actually started working on 
a third level. Now I'm going to also have to make a fourth level. See? Mr. Gathering Up Potatoes. And give them to your buddy. Give them to your buddy right there because he wants potatoes. Now we need to get a brown robed villager over here so that we can get carrots harvesting. Did I cover up the water? I did. Awesome. Okay, so we don't have to worry about falling in water over here. And he is patiently waiting for a brown robed villager. Now, okay, we can come down here. So I was digging this area out, getting it ready for the next crop, which I think is going to be wheat. It was going to be beets. But beets won't be here till 1.9, and we don't know when that's coming out at the making of this video. Uh, for you in the future, you're probably going, Peggy, it's already out. But for me right now, it's not. It's it's just a rumor. Um, so we need a level for beets, but we also need a level for wheat. So I'm probably going to go ahead and make this be wheat. Now, what had happened was I, this used to be mines, like tunnels and stuff like that. Like if you load the seed and you come over here to 328... Negative 106 at level 40, you're going to see that this is caves and stuff. Like underneath here are a bunch of caves. Potatoes? Why aren't you going in there? Because this thing is jam-packed. Wow. Well, good thing we came over here, huh? We need potatoes. We need potatoes like nobody's business. So, awesome. So, good. We got us some food. I'm going to... Let's just take all the potatoes. Every potato available will be coming with us. That we can stuff into our inventory. <laughs> but, in the and you probably hear the sound. You've probably seen it. But in the process of hollowing this, this out, I got rushed by a bunch of zombies. And one of them was a special zombie. It was a zombie villager. And I'm like, you know what? Instead of working really hard to get zombie villagers all the way over here, why don't we see if we can rescue this guy? So I rescued him. I got him safe inside there. I'm going to have to get... A golden apple and some kind of potion. So we're going to see if we can rescue him in this episode. But the other thing we're going to do. So we're going to come back over. And I think it's nighttime. It is. So, all right. Let's see. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Well, I'm going to sleep. And then I'll meet you over in the middle of town and show you what the other thing is going to be. All right, everybody. So I made it back over here. And we're going to cook us some potatoes. But... Since I still have achievements to get, I'm going to do something. I meant to do this like way back in episode one. It's such an old joke. <laughs> want to make a furnace? And I didn't get the achievement. What? Okay, that does it. Where is it? It says I didn't get it. Because I have to make a pickaxe? A wooden pickaxe. Oh my gosh. Well, alrighty then. Let's go ahead and do that. I can't believe epi episode 36, <laughs> we're making a wooden pickaxe. This is hilarious. So one, two, three. There we go. Now, did, did it say that I needed to make a stone pickaxe? No? Let's see. So time to mine. Yeah, because I mine. I like to mine. I like to mine the craft. One, two, three, four. There we go. So now, now the old joke that I never got to tell that I always wanted to tell. It's not really a joke. It's I'm building it up to be so much more than it is. <gasps> Hot topic. There we go. That I've wanted to do that for like a year. <laughs> got it out of my system. I feel so much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and dump all this in here. You guys get in there. And I think I checked. I think we have the fuel. We have the fuel. We have the talent. Let's go ahead and bring this over here, too. We'll just dump all this in there. There we go. Just potatoes. Clog up the system, you guys. We're going to have potatoes for days. So, while I was bringing this stuff over here, I went off, uh, and off camera and I checked how to make a zombie villager rescue kit. So, we're going to just pop open the lid and see what's in here. We got all these goodies. Now, this is all stuff that I had in my chest. I just went ahead and pulled it out. And you know what? organizing this stuff finally paid off. I could finally find everything. So let's see. We'll just go ahead and boop. We'll pop that down right there. And let's see. We need to make a fermented spider eye. So it was a mushroom, a spider eye, and sugar. There we go. This is actually the first time 
I've ever done this. So we do that, and I think it was that, and then brew that. And that's supposed to give us a potion of weakness. Now, while that's while that's a brewing, let's go ahead and make ourselves a golden apple. This might be the first golden apple I've ever made. What? Huh. Why didn't that work? Why didn't I make a golden apple? Maybe it's golden ingots now. Is it golden ingots? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and swap over. Do like this. Or is that going to give me what they call a notch apple? I don't know. Okay, golden apple. Why did I think ingots? Maybe I watch, watch the wrong tutorial. So we've got potions of weakness, but I need to be able to throw them. So we're going to put some gunpowder in there. And that's going to make us what's called a splash potion. It means, poo, you can throw it and it'll hit stuff. Now, way down there, way down there, where the, the fake nether is, is where I'm going to eventually build a really cool potion brewing mechanism or something. But we're just going to go with the makeshift system for right now. So there we go. So let's go ahead and take all these because, you know, Biggie, Biggie may actually miss. <laughs> and night is falling. Night, what is it about this episode? Night everywhere. But you know what? we got a really cool sword. We've got a really cool anti-creeper system. So we're just going to go for it. But we don't have any armor on. So good game Piggy for running out into the wild with nothing but a sword and a few carrots. All right. So one of the other projects that I'm going to need to do is over here at the employment center. And the reason why is because in a couple of episodes, we are going to need to get guys and gals, villagers, out of the employment center. Now what ends up happening... Make sure we don't get bun rushed. What ends up happening is, down inside this mechanism, villagers can get loose. They can walk around, and they'll jam up the system. They'll actually mess everything up. So what I've got to do is come over and kind of fix it or finagle it. I'm not certain what I'm going to do yet. I think I don't want to mess up the back of the building, but I may have to. I may have to get it where the water brings the villagers up to this level, and we'll be able to see them inside. So I'm going to have to fix that. And I'm going to have to rescue the villager. But the other thing we're going to do this episode is something that we should have done a long time ago. <laughs> this village. It is time for this village to go. We have finally moved out of the house that we commandeered. And you, you sir, you get out of here. <laughs> Now that's some knockback. Woohoo! Monster Hunter. We're all about the achievements in episode 36. <laughs> but I've gotten my. You guys get out of here. Let's go ahead and get in here so we can get safe. But I have got. I've got smelters over there. Check. We have got a food farm going. Check. Still need to get a uh, sugar cane farm going, so we'll have to do that. And I've moved all my stuff into there. So there's no reason for any of this to be here. So we're going to tear down the village. We're going to fix the employment center. And we're going to go rescue ourselves a villager. So I'm going to sleep again. <laughs> and then I'll meet you over there. And we're going to see if we can rescue a villager. All right, everybody. So we've come back over here. We have found Mr. Zombie Villager. Hello, sir. And if you notice, yes, you. We're going to cure you soon, sir. So notice how he's holding a piece of cobble. I was able to give that to him. I tossed it at him, and he picked it up. And that keeps him from despawning. So that way I was able to go way over there, take care of a whole bunch of stuff, and then come back over here. But we're going to try and do this. We'll see if we can get this right. Did we hit him? I really can't tell. Sir, did we hit you? Well, he's got sparkly things coming off of him, so we're going to right-click him with this. <gasps> It worked. Woohoo! <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to take about three minutes or so. So we're going to run off and go look at some stuff. Then we're going to come back over here and see what happens. I really hope the sound of that zombie is not another zombie getting nearby. Because we do not need to lose the zombie villager to another zombie. But let's go ahead and pop up here. We are going to make our way over to the employment office, and we're going to see a sight we've never seen before. Something very strange, you see. Now, it was a whole lot less work than I thought it would be, but I have managed to tear down the village. 
Now, it was kind of sad. It was actually a little sad. I was feeling just a little nostalgic. Do you notice? There's something missing. I've seen this village for so long. Now, for those of you who are just watching like this whole series, it may not feel like it to you, but I've actually been playing this series for just a little over a year now. So for a whole year, I have been walking through here and seeing a village. And now it's gone. I have left not a trace of the village. I don't even know if the... I think all the grass has grown. It sure has. So all the grass has grown. Everything is gone. Everything's completely gone. And did you know? Did you know? You can fit an entire village in a double chest. <laughs> well, at least this village. So right here, this is everything that existed in this village. The road, the paths, everything. About the only thing in there is not the torches because... I placed some torches, so I wasn't quite sure which ones naturally spawned and which ones I placed. But, oh, it just, I can't get over that. It, it looks so different. It's like I expect something to be there. My eyes almost can't accept what I see. That's crazy. It's crazy how your mind will do that to you. We're going to go ahead and come over here. I was able to figure out a fix that I think is going to be a nice compromise. It... I'm going to have to build a little bit of a hill back here to cover up the cobble because this is this is as low as I could get this to go. But I think that'll be fine. I'm going to figure out a creative, tricky way to do it, but I think we'll be okay where we'll be able to make this dirt and um, maybe build up this hill a little bit because right through here, I have plans for something. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to build it but something's going to come through here. So a hill in this area might work out fine in the future. But here's the fix. The fix is in. <laughs> so all I did was raise this up a couple of blocks. And uh, that allowed me to raise the rail just enough where I can get a glass block here. So the minecart will pick up a villager and take off with them. And you'll go through them, the glass block. They'll come up here, they'll get washed over, boop, they get stuck here, and let's go and do this. We'll pop this down. <gasps> Did I seriously just do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, good game, Piggy. <laughs> that was my ride back. <laughs> so anyway, you'll be able to imagine <laughs> that a villager... Where did the minecart... Okay, gosh, at least it didn't run off. You come here. You come here, because the viewers, they want to see. So we're going to go and ride down. So boop, boop. See, it works. Yeah. The fastest test ever. Proof positive that it works. Let's go ahead and do that. And I do need to shut the door over here, because we don't want any baby zombies getting down in there. So boop. That was the wrong button. Boop. That was the wrong button. What did I do? I forgot the clay that goes there. Great. Good game, Piggy. So we'll just do that for now. Boop. I'll come back and fix that later. But we're going to go ahead and ride these rails. And I'm out of here. And that's right. I'm still filming on Halloween. <laughs> I actually filmed this episode right after last episode. I was on a roll. I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. We can do this. So... And I think this rail is only going to take us as far as, as uh, the other side of the... Right over by the forklift, actually. But that's fine. That This is quicker than running. And that's cool, because now we've got this area open. I can start thinking about what I want to do for roads. And get some roads going. So I'll hop out of here. You're coming with me. And let's go back over here and see what kind of villager we got. It has been... Oh, I don't know. I'm looking at my timer. And it's telling me that we, I don't know, it's been about four or five minutes now. Four or five minutes. I think we're safe. We can come over here and find out what kind of villager. Now, I'm hoping it's going to be a brown-robed villager because that means I could release him at that bottom level and I would be able to uh, start harvesting the carrots. That would be cool. And you know how the pigs are. They love the carrots. Let's hope that the that zombie is something, because I know there's more caves back there. And so there's some caves underneath there as well. So, 
I see a shoulder from a villager. What is this? What are you, sir? A cleric. A cleric. And your trade stuff. And I think I have some clerics. So you, sir... I'm going to have to build another box right here with a villager that's going to stand here always going, her, her, throw me the food, her, her. So I may, yeah, that's probably where we're going to, where we're going to put him. We'll just put him right there. Uh-oh, sir, you are slacking on the potato gathering. You, sir, need to gather more potatoes because we need more potatoes. So get the potatoes, not the carrots. <laughs> so, okay, well, that's cool. That worked out. So, now if, I know it doesn't feel like a lot. Yes, I know it doesn't, sir, but it's okay. This was just kind of like an easygoing episode. I had a few things to take care of, a few things to get in place, and we needed to rescue him. Yes, that's right, we rescued you. So, this is what I want you to do for this episode's project. I know usually it's some kind of building or something like that, but every once in a while, I try to change it up a little bit. I want you to find yourself a zombie villager. I want you to rescue him, and then I want you to take a picture standing next to the villager that you rescued. Let's see if you can get a brown road villager, because I needed one. Maybe you, you can get one instead, that'd be great. So, yeah, and let's go ahead and give you a torch so that you don't get rushed by any zombies. And I think I've got some blocks up here. I think I have some building blocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover him up so no bad guys can get in there and get him. No. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use cobble. Cobble will work. So I'm going to cover him up, and then I'm going to go back over to the employment office and fix that little clay mistake, because if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. So remember, take a picture of you saving a villager and send it to me on Twitter so I can tweet it out to everybody else and show them that you save villagers just like Piggy. So I'm gonna go over here, wait, what? Oh, okay. All right, so we get a little bit more daylight, so that'll work. Nope, you get down here, right there. Okay, so, whoa, <laughs> quick growing grass, nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here and fix that clay box and get ready for next episode, and I will see you in the next episode.